Hey, it's Buddy here, and today I want to talk to you about five don'ts for 2019. And I bring these up because a lot of people say, well, do I have any tips or any advice or things that I can just focus on after the new year or in my life? Number one, I'm going to go right into it. Number one is don't blame other people. I'm looking at my notes here. Don't blame other people for what your situation is in life. We have control of what we're doing. So if you're in a situation that's challenging or maybe you have an issue with someone at work or you're feeling frustrated in life, don't blame anyone else except yourself. We have the ability and the uh, power to manifest things that we want in our life. So what I want you to do is think about, I've got myself into this, and for whatever reason, I'm attracting this frustration or this challenge in my life. Don't blame other people, blame yourself. And when you do that, you, you take ownership for what you're doing. And what I want you to do is, ins is to say, this is happening but I can get out of it. There are always options. And if you watch some of my other videos, you know that I always say there's other options in life. There's things that we're not thinking about. So open yourself up and come up with a plan to get yourself out of whatever situation is. And again, big thing, don't blame other people. Now, the second thing is don't complain. And I love this one because I have found myself doing this. I will be in a situation and I'm complaining, I complain, complain, complain. And you've got friends who do it as well, uh, people that you know. And they just complain. And what do you do after a while? You start to tune them out. Now, the big thing is, instead of complaining, come up with a solution, a plan, an action plan that's going to get you out of this complaining situation. And when you complain, what happens? All the complaining is time that you're spending complaining instead of coming up with a solution. So you're wasting more energy complaining about something that you cannot control and just being in the moment of thinking, oh man, I'm in this thing. What am I going to do? Stop complaining. Come up with a plan that you're going to go after something better, new, or a better plan of action. So don't complain. Next thing, oh, this is a big one. Number three is don't gossip. And I have found myself gossiping with, about other people and saying things, and then I catch myself and go, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, because what's really happening? Many of us out there, and I'm going to say myself included because sometimes I've done the past and a lot of you know me, I really, really try to watch this because I do not want this to happen. Gossiping is horrible. It wastes time and it's not moving you forward. What happens is when we gossip about other people, it has to say something about who we are. We're wasting time gossiping about other people and worrying about what they're doing instead of what we need to be worrying about ourselves. So if you're gossiping, you're wasting energy and you're creating something that's going to come back to you. And I tell you, if we spend time gossiping, it's wasting time in our life that we can be doing something that's positive in the direction that we want to go into. So stop gossiping. Fourth thing is don't compare yourself to others. And, you know, early in my career, I would think, oh, gosh, I want to be like so-and-so or, you know, aspire to be this really great teacher. And I remember thinking, well, God, they're doing this and this. And, of course, it's human nature. We compare ourselves to how we're doing in life. What I want you to do is I want you to worry about what you are doing in your life. When we worry about what we're doing, we don't have to worry about other people because you know what? I always say this, they're going to play catch up. They got to catch you. They got to catch us in doing something that we are doing. So, but when we worry or I'm sorry, when we compare ourselves to other people, it wastes time towards what we need to do in our life. It pulls away from what we need to get done. So get those goals. It's on other videos. Put your goals down, put up an action plan. Don't compare yourself to other people and stay on track to what you have to do. Now, the last one is huge. Don't worry about the small stuff. And I know you've heard of this from other people, other presenters, other motivational speakers. Don't worry about the small stuff because why? It's small stuff. What you have to think about is the big picture. Where do you want to go? What's the big picture? The small little steps are little things that are going to detract you or try to get you off what you're doing, off your goal. So don't sweat the, sweat the small stuff because you know what? In the big picture, in the big picture of things, it's only small. It's so small. So don't worry about it, all right? I hope those help you out, and I want you to tune into my channel even more. And thanks so much for watching, Dave. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.